Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel. Hi, Excelers. Thanks for joining me again for another How to Excel at Excel.com video tip. Today, I'm going to show you how to insert a blank column after every one of your data columns in your Excel spreadsheet. This is in response to one of my most popular videos on YouTube and it's how to insert a blank row after every data column in Excel. I'll put the link to that video in the description box. But today we're going to concentrate on how to insert a blank column after every one of your data columns. So the first thing is if you're, the first thing we need to do is just make sure that we have a blank row above our data set. So if your data set is right, if it starts in cell, a1 then just insert a we're going to use this as a helper row because uh, this method doesn't use any VBA programming it doesn't use any macros it's really simple to do we just need a helper row and the first thing we need to do is label our columns uh, or number our columns and so I've got one two three four five you could have one two three four five six twenty seventy five however many you need second thing we do is we copy that data set and paste it right next to the so paste it right next to your last value so next thing we need to do is select the whole data set including these blank cells here we want the whole data set and then we go to the editing then we go to the editing group and select sort and filter and we want a custom sort we want to sort by row one and we want to sort from left to right, left to right. Hit OK, hit OK again. Then you can remove your helper row. And there you've got it. You've got easily, yeah, we've easily inserted some blank columns after every one of our data columns. That's it, guys. It's that simple. I hope you enjoyed this Excel tip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, Leave a comment and I'll see you next time for another How to Excel at Excel.com video.